Hello my sock universe. It's time for another jersey from my collection and in a way I've made a video of the jersey that I'm going to talk about now already. But now I have the real deal. We are of course talking about the jersey of 2018. For many it was the jersey of 2018. I did not rate it as my top jersey from 2018. That actually was this last jersey. Coming off already. Uh, for, obvious, for personal reasons. I have to say, uh, when it comes to spectacular jerseys, well, I kind of find the hook here, uh, this one is a trendsetter beyond any jersey that was issued in 2018. There's no question about it. Now, uh, I have made videos showing the difference between this and the counterfeit that I made a video in. Uh, it's pretty obvious that uh, the color of the original one and first of first, this is a 2019 version where there's the round tag. In 2018, it was still the rectangular one. So yeah, it's not uh, the one issued for a World Cup or more for the AFCON or the second run, if you like. But it's the same gorgeous jersey. And uh, surprisingly, and you saw it in the unpacking video that I made for it, I got it, I think, rel relatively cheap. I think for about 60 euros or something like that. So yeah quite happy with that. The one thing with the jersey that always kind of bugged me is you have this great kind of organic feeling eagle leaf pattern but then look at it you see stripes here. That always kind of bugged me. There is some regularity to it that otherwise you is not there so there are those stripes in there that's the one thing that bugged me and i never was sure about the black and white in a way but i have to say it gives the jersey an overall great and unique look it's also you know when i got to know nigeria i always imagine dark green jerseys maybe it's a little bit too light but then in 2002 they had a light uh, colored jersey in 2014 they had a light colored uh, jersey though with dark green and there's a little bit dark green with the nigerian flag on the back um this could be um glitch if there was really a striped jersey but here it actually looks quite nice that the um, bars come here together it gives the whole thing a little bit more of this feathered feel that you want to have in this jersey. Uh, the crest is, as I said, the real Nike crests are kind of solid and there, there is no bobbling this one. And the swoosh is nicely sewn on. It's an absolute beauty. It's an XL, fits me really, really, really nice. Um, here are the points that I've been point pointing out on the uh, counterfeit uh, that Emil told me, yeah, this is not the real deal. <laughs> killed me but yeah i had to have it i got it it's an absolute beauty if you want to know what happened with the other one i gave it to my cousin not cousin nephew gave it to my nephew uh he's only i think he's he is turning 10 this year but he loves also soccer churches and he my brother said he's uh, he doesn't mind having count counterfeits and he's so happy i sent him a few the counterfeits that I had and he put them all on at once so there you go well I think I could call it now the, uh, the jersey of 2010 I'm very happy I'm really happy that I have this one I needed to have this one it's an absolutely gorgeous jersey for that reason I absolutely love it and yeah let me know what you think I think Nigeria never lost a tournament game in the while wearing that, that, that one but more often, I had to wear the dark green one. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.